Jehoshaphat aims to conquer Moab with a choir. God had said the battle is mine to fight, and Jehoshaphat says, well, let's put the choir at the front. Verse 21, and when he had taken counsel with the people, he appointed those who were to sing to the Lord and praise him in holy array as they went before the army and say, give thanks to the Lord for his steadfast love endures forever. In other words, shout to victory before the battle commences because God had promised it. I think the writer of this book wants us to learn from verse 22, even though victory belongs to God, the singing of the choir is the occasion for the victory. Singing is not merely a response to grace. Singing is a means of grace. Singing is power. When you sing, the Holy Spirit comes and does something. Jehoshaphat sang with the choir, and Moab and Ammon and Seir killed themselves. And when Paul and Silas sang, it says, God shook the prison. Surely the lesson is there is power when the people of God sing. Jim Elliott, you remember? January 8, 1956. Jim Elliott, Nate Saint, and three others. They were there at the river waiting to see whether the Alcas would come out, the Indians to whom they were going to minister. The last word that the headquarters received from them, according to Elizabeth Elliott in her book, The Shadow of the Almighty, was that they sang a hymn before they crossed over. What they sang was this. We go in faith, our own great weakness feeling, needing more each day thy grace to know. Yet from our hearts a song of triumph pealing, we rest on thee, and in thy name we go. And they all got killed before 4.30 in the afternoon. And God protected them. protected them from unbelief, from cowardice, from fear, from going home and buying a house in the suburbs and saying somebody else can reach the Alcas. There was victory on that afternoon. It's reverberated over the last 30 years and it'll continue on into eternity. There are two weapons that we have to fight Satan with in worship. The Word of God and song. I beseech you, give heed to the Word and sing with all your heart.